What is up guys, welcome back to another session video. Today we're gonna be skating as Dane Berman. I know it's pretty dark right now, that's because we're at the pyramid ledges and I've put up some lights here because I wanna get a trick on this out ledge right here. Oh, Dane Berman, you are looking great, my man. Dane is actually one of my favorite skaters and I think today I'm gonna loosely do some tricks that's inspired from his tricks in real life. So the first trick we're gonna do is a little switch flip 5-0 that I think was in his no cash value part. I'll throw in a clip right here. So we are just gonna do that on the outlet here. Let's see if we can get a first try. Switch flip 5-0 and then... Little switch backside flip off the curb there. He actually used to do that trick a lot. And he has a really good switch backside flip. So I guess we can kind of try to capture the whole thing, right? Alright, but we are back in uh, the original New York City map here in Session. And I'm just thinking of some cool spots where we can do some Dane Berman-ish stuff. He does have a really good switch front board in no cash value, but he also has an amazing tray flip down a huge gap in uh, Cold War. I think I want to find a spot for that. Let's just get into Dane's natural stance. The yes, uh, I was about to say switch stance. I mean the goofy stance, of course. No tray flip here. I also don't think I would like that since it would be butt shot. Oh man, this right here, that would be a sick tray flip. I don't think I've ever really skated this actually. I've tried a little bit, but couldn't really get the speed for it. First off, let's just change the time of day. Yeah, this is better. Because it's a very short run up we have here. Guess I could try to like come from here and then see how much speed we can get. I am in the regular again. Why is that? I gotta double tap it. Is it because I'm set to be in a regular skater? <laughs> Let's just get into a uh, goofy then. Wow, I'm sorry, Dane. Yeah, see, it just doesn't seem like it's enough speed. Let's try to build something then. Let's just see if this made a difference. We actually got it. We got it with a varial flip though. That is not what I'm trying to do. Oh, it still doesn't seem like enough speed. I think I kind of late popped the barrel flip. Yeah, because now I'm having issues with it. We'll, we'll build a bit higher up. All right, what about now? This is looking crazy. Well, I guess we just got it. I kind of want to see if I can do the tray flip a bit slower. That was a barrel flip again. I don't know if I can do it any slower than that, but that was a pretty good tray flip. I'm pretty hyped on that tray flip, but Dane also has a really amazing hard flip, so I think we should get that one too. That looked like it hurt. Wow, I'm not even getting that far out there with that trick, and I think I broke Dane's neck. I think that was a late pop since we cleared it that much. That was a cool looking hard flip. A little bit under rotated, shifting it back kind of. Alright, I am pretty hyped on my little uh, bank contraption here. Definitely helps get the speed for the tricks. Oh no, we go and switch. Dane has a great switch flip. But, uh, yeah, not, not for this spot. I think we should move on to something else. Ooh, we have a handrail here. Dane, he is pretty famous for doing really crazy handrail tricks. His go-to is, like, the front side 5-0. Should probably get that, but I don't feel like this rail is big enough for that. So here we might do the switch front board. Uh, we can probably clean that up. I was kind of close to the rail when I got onto it. Oh, no, I'm in my natural stance. Does Dane do that? Oh, you know what? He has a line in uh, Cold War with a kickflip front no slide on a handrail. I think we'll do that one. Uh, 
No, we kind of landed in the nose manual. Otherwise, that was actually pretty good. Nope. Front crook. I don't really like this one. Maybe we should do it where I try to spin 90 with the kickflip. And then only hold up on the uh, right stick. Instead of doing the kickflip and then just tweaking into the nose slide. Oh, if it didn't glitch right there, that would have been it. Oh, wow. Hey, Dane. But I really wish that the replay that was working a little bit better so we could actually get like some realistic looking angles and stuff like that. But it, it's still pretty cool that we have Dane in a video game and we can just do some tricks he's famous for. I have no idea what happened right there, but I wanted to do a tray flip lip. Or we could do... Could do... We could do the uh, pop shove at 50 grind he did in no cash value. Tray flip front board. I don't think I've seen Dane do that. Let's see it right here. Tray flip. This is it right here. Tray flip. God damn it. Those Vero flips today. This is the one we're landing. Tray flip. Lip slide. And clean roll away. I guess we'll take this. It, oh, wow. Yeah. It, it was okay. These are some pretty good rails. We should actually just like get a 50 grind down this. I don't know if you're too close to the ledge here. Or that huge 5-0. I mean, that was the 5-0, but I think I kind of did like a wall right into it. Hopefully that was all right. It's kind of hard to get into this 5-0 when you're this close to the wall. Hopefully... Okay, the arm goes through the wall a little bit, so uh, we'll have to hide that. This is an early access game, of course. So stuff like that is just bound to happen. What else can we do now that we're here? Whoa! All right, we're still going. Oh, yeah, some leftovers of the uh, skate plaza I built a while ago. Oh, dang. In Strange World, Dane, he does a really huge heel flip over a double set. I don't think this double set is actually as big as the one he does in real life. But we could get some more rail tricks gapping over to these. Or we could do the heel flip and then to something else down this. Oh, I really don't know what to do here. The heel flip is pretty easy to do. Actually, I'm doing it way too fast. I'm trying to flick slow, but it just doesn't want to do that. That was pretty slow. To a backside heel flip 360. Oh yeah, that's actually right. I'm supposed to just turn the trick names off here. Because the trick names still have some errors with them. And I just automatically comment on that being a skater. I, I really don't want to do that because they're still trying to work out some of the issues and figure stuff out with that. So yeah, let's just leave it off until it's a, a finalized feature. Whoa. Kick flip back lip to a frontside flip. He also has a really mean frontside flip. Yeah, why not? Let's film this one. The free filming is a little bit tough in this game, but still it turned out pretty cool. I think we gotta get something on this King Grail right here. Hopefully something we can make look realistic. Let's just see if I can get into a frontside 50. Not on the ground. Front Smith. Wow, what is going on? All right, let's try to grind the other side and I won't jump from before the grass. I just thought that would look a lot cooler. Wow, but we'll try to actually jump on around here. If that is even possible, I'll go a bit slower, I think. 
We are in the 50. What? That was looking so good, but I guess we'll try again. I'm kind of landing in an Ohio grind. Should we ollie out over the, uh, the curb there? The sidewalk? I did an ollie out over the sidewalk there, but it seemed like I gapped a little too far. But I like the 50 otherwise, so we might just take this one. And then I think to end off the video, we're gonna do one last 50 grind. Wow, this parking garage is very loud. His ender in Cold War was frontside, but this right here is backside, so we'll just do it like that. But basically a handrail to a flat rail and then a huge drop off. I think I did this regular in a video in the past, but uh, now we're doing the backside and we are actually Dane Berman, so it should be a lot more fun. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just try to get this. I mean, kinda. I think we can do it better. All right, I think that was it. I tried to get a little variable flip late flip there, but I think we're taking that first one. What? Oh man, that was weird. I was controlling the board. Oh, we just have more cool rail spots here, so it would be fun to get something else. Quick little kick for back set 50. Kick for back, no slide to Fagy. Yeah, I think that was pretty cool. And I think he did that in... Was it his Cold War part or was it the Fallen Roadless Travel video? I don't even remember. I'll try to find all the clips I'm talking about put it in here. But I've said this ever since I knew Dane Burma is going to be a character in session. I just think it's really, really awesome. I think we really need the pros in real skateboarding games. And when it's a pro I really like, I just think that's even better. And of course, since Dane is my favorite skater, together with Tommy Sandoval, I just think it's a really good suit for the game. There'll be a little montage with all the tricks we got today after I'm done talking. But I just want to say, wow, Dane, he can push. No, that's not what I want to say, but I just want to say I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll just be seeing you in the very next one. So until then, peace out.